Hello. Today, I'm going to tell you about the ActiVac Therapy System, an advanced wound healing system that could have a vital role in your recovery. The ActiVac Therapy System can enable you or anyone with an appropriate wound to receive VAC therapy while maintaining comfort and mobility. ActiVac Therapy works by creating a negative pressure environment, helping your wound to close. It brings the edges of the wound together as it removes infectious materials and other fluids. Today we'll visit two patients who benefit from VAC therapy and see firsthand the ActiVac therapy unit and its components. We'll show you how it works and how to operate it throughout your recovery process. Now let's meet Violet. Keep in mind that as with any medical device, it is important to review all instructions with your healthcare provider and make sure all safety information is understood. You can see right away how easy it is to operate and turn therapy on and off. The ActiVac therapy unit is sleek and very light, just over two pounds, so it can easily go wherever you do. The touch screen is simple to use and easy to read. The carrying case lets you wear it on your belt, over your shoulder, or you can hang it from a chair. A compartment lets you discreetly store excess tubing out of sight. The ActiVac therapy unit can operate through an internal rechargeable battery which lasts up to 14 hours. The ActiVac therapy system is a complete wound healing system with a lightweight therapy unit, special foam dressing, clear adhesive drape, Sensatrack pad with tubing, and a disposable wound fluid collection canister. Your healthcare provider will teach you, a family member or other caregiver, to operate the unit, change the canister, and if appropriate, change the dressing. It is recommended that VAC dressings be changed routinely every 48 to 72 hours, but not less than three times per week for non-infected wounds. Infected wounds should be monitored closely and may require more frequent dressing changes. A special feature will alert you to any leaks. Seal check will help identify and find a negative pressure leak. If a significant leak is present, the seal check tool will help you find the location of the leak. The height of the bar graph and the frequency of the audible tone will reflect the leak rate. While therapy is on, move your hand and fingers slowly over the drape and pad while applying light pressure. When your hand covers the leak, the tone and the bar height will diminish. Add a new piece of drape to repair the leak. When changing a dressing, the healthcare provider will first remove the old one and clean the wound according to the doctor's orders. He or she will note any signs of redness, swelling, or increased pain in or around the wound which may be a sign of infection. The healthcare provider will measure your wound and fit the special foam dressing to your wound. Then the entire wound will be covered by a drape that looks like plastic wrap. A small hole is cut in the drape and the Sensatrack pad is placed over it. A disposable canister is then attached to the therapy device, easily snapping into place. When the therapy unit is turned on, the foam dressing will collapse, creating a negative pressure seal over the area. A pulling sensation may be felt at the wound site, but it is not usually a painful one. Now we'll visit Fernando, who's had his ActiVac therapy unit for a week and a half. Your doctor will have already determined the correct setting of the therapy unit based on your specific needs. This setting should not be altered. Therapy settings should not be adjusted without the express direction or supervision of your healthcare provider. When the canister fills with fluids collected from the wound, it can be easily removed. You may or may not need to change the canister on your unit every two days. An alarm will alert you when it is full. Simply remove it and snap a new one in place. This should be done at least once a week. Your healthcare provider will tell you how to dispose of it properly. Your healthcare provider should evaluate the fluid removed from the wound. Turn the unit off if unexpected or large amounts of bleeding occur. 
Clamp and disconnect the tubing between the dressing and the unit. Apply pressure to the wound area and elevate the area if possible. Do not remove the dressing. Call your healthcare provider or physician immediately. In an emergency, call 911 or your local emergency number. It's vital to the healing process to continue active act therapy 22 hours of each 24 hour period. If the system must be off for longer than two hours at a time, you must take the dressing off and cover your wound with another dressing, such as moist gauze, as ordered by your physician. Consult your physician or healthcare provider before applying a new dressing. Monitor the wound for signs of infection. Some signs of a possible infection include fever, redness, tenderness, swelling, rash, increased warmth in the area, a purulent discharge, or a strong odor. Immediately call your healthcare provider if you are experiencing worsening signs or symptoms of infection. To reduce the risk of infection, the Activac therapy unit and carrying case should be cleaned at least once a week with a mild disinfectant. Do not use any liquid to clean the touch screen. Instead, use a soft, non-abrasive cloth to wipe it clean. The Activac therapy system is equipped with several safety alarms, which will sound and also appear on screen. Alarms occur if the therapy is not activated, if the canister is full, if the tubing is blocked, if the tubing or dressing has leaks, or if the battery is low on power. Refer to your device quick reference guide located in the pocket of your carrying case or your user manual located in the hard shell delivery case for instructions on dealing with a specific alarm. If necessary, call the 800 KCI toll-free number also found on the therapy unit for further assistance. An alarm should be attended to at once. Once the situation is corrected, therapy should be restarted immediately. The Activac delivery packet contains important information such as the patient family handbook and safety information sheet for you to review. This information is also available on our website at www.activac.com. If you need more information or immediate assistance, call KCI at 1-800-275-4524. The Activac therapy system is intended primarily for outpatient use. If you are admitted to a hospital, rehabilitation center, or nursing home, your doctor will determine if you should continue VAC therapy. When your doctor has discontinued your Activac therapy system, please contact KCI at 1-800-275-4524 within 24 hours to stop any continuing VAC unit rental charges. Please return any unopened cases of supplies and call within seven days of your discharge from therapy if items are to be returned so a pickup can be scheduled. KCI's Activac therapy system means safety, comfort, and mobility during your therapy, as well as wound healing to help you get back to enjoying your life.